to the Sunrise Radio YouTube channel. My name is Shabnam Sahi and here I am on location at Westgate House in Ealing, another exciting Galley Arts home development. Now we're going to have a look around. We're going to give you a sense of what this development entails, how this could be your perfect investment opportunity. Maybe it could be your first dream home, your first step on the property ladder. We're going to show you around. But before that, we're going to have a quick chat with David Galman, the sales director of Galley Arts Homes. Now, David, of course, we were here when it was first launched um, and uh, we've had a good look around and we've seen exactly what Galliards does every time you bring a development to the market. But first and foremost, to all our YouTube viewers, I'd like to give them a sense of where we are and how conveniently located this development is. And I'd like you to do that, please. Okay. So Westgate House is uh, right close to the Hangar Lane gyratory system, which means it's close to Hangar Lane Station with... Uh, exceptional transport facilities into central London, close to Ealing itself, which is a very cool, trendy high street, lots and lots of different restaurants. Uh, it's a really good location to be. Now, why do you think this would be a good idea for someone who's looking to get onto the property ladder, especially in London? Why do you think they should invest in a place like this? Okay, so the development itself is in excess of 300 apartments, 311 apartments, which is the conversion of the original building. Uh, into studios, one beds and two beds. We've also got a number of facilities here. There's a screening room, there's going to be hot desks, there's going to be a gym. Mm -hmm. So lifestyle is very, very important to people, especially busy working people coming back at home and, mm -hmm. and so on. So um, I think from that point of view, plus its proximity to central London, mm -hmm. plus it's, it's just far enough out to be close to a green leafy area as well. So it's got everything going for it from that point of view. Now, who do you think are your potential buyers? Who would this appeal to the most? Because there are three different kinds of apartments, right? And all with different starting prices, of course. Do you reckon um, professionals, students, young professionals? Young professionals, graduates, mm. um, banker mum and dad, been very, very helpful. Mm. The occasional downsizer who's looking to uh, perhaps sell their, their larger property in Ealing or in a similar location that just mm. wants to have a, a foothold still in the marketplace. Uh, investors themselves who are buying to rent out, there are a few of those. Mm. Less and less because it does seem to be a place where people want to live uh, mm. and we've made it affordable. So I think that's all important. Mm. Now, of course, there are three different kinds of apartments, right? All starting at uh, different price points. So tell us a bit more about that. Studios, which is a studio suite which has a separate sleeping area so it's got a, a lounge area a sleeping area uh, kitchen and bathroom they start at 300,000 pounds mm. one bed's or just under 300 in fact one bed's just over 350 two beds from 495 mm. up to in, up to a close sort of 600,000 pounds so when you say studios from under 300,000 then you mean uh, first-time buyers would be exempt from stamp duty on those perfect yes yeah. Uh, also, the government's help to buy scheme. Now, in one of our uh, earlier videos, you explained that beautifully. Does that apply to this development as well? So it applies in respect of the development's going to be ready in at the end of 2020 and mm -hmm. help to buy runs out in 2021. Mm -hmm. So the Galliard help to buy option helps here, which means that people can opt in to take the help to buy. Mm -hmm. They can't apply for it yet, mm -hmm. but we will sell you based on the fact that you're going to get help to buy when it comes to fruition, um, which means you can borrow it as it's in a London borough up to 40% from the government. Uh, it's a really, really good scheme and I think more people should be taking uh, advantage of it while it's still there. Hmm. Now, something I've seen across all developments, uh, Galliard developments, is you know, all these flats are finished to a very high spec. And there are certain things which you can virtually take for granted, you know, for instance, good transport links. And as you were saying earlier that, you know, you wanted people to have their own space and yet wanted them to have a sense of community. Uh, that's important for you, right? And that's a key part of this development as well. So that's why we've put all the amenities in. We've, we had a lot of space here mm. and it was a case of, we've, we've exhausted it in terms of apartments that we can get out of it, but we've mm. still got lots and lots of empty space. Let's put in a screening room, let's put in the hot desks, the ability for people to work from home and so on. And that was really based on the thought that as people leave university and they've, they've, they've lived together, uh, in a student house or in halls of residence mm. for a number of years. They've got used to that sense of community. Mm. So now this is their own space, but they've still got that, that, that community alongside them, because I think that's quite important. Mm. Now, of course, would there be any extra incentives for Sunrise Radio listeners, for instance, or those who follow us on YouTube? 
So you've just thrown that at me. Yes. Uh, and I think we ought to do something specifically for uh, Sunrise Listener Service. Someone says they come from Sunrise Radio, mm -hmm. and if someone says they've seen it on the YouTube channel, mm -hmm. we would either uh, throw in a furniture pack mm -hmm. or uh, contribute towards their stamp duty, whichever works for them. So we'll look at that. So I think Fantastic. that's... Uh, you put me on the spot and you made me do it, but that's fine. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much for talking to us. I know that Sunrise and Galia, they go back a long way and we've had a long-standing friendship. And it's always a pleasure to come and see all these new developments and hear from you why you have chosen a particular location or why it is finished to a certain, uh, done up a certain way, let's put it that way, and what you think is a selling point. And then kind of really um, enjoy everything that Galliard offers uh, buyers on the market. You're always there to help them with uh, the different schemes and you've always been so, so helpful to all our Sunrise listeners. Uh, thank you so much. We're gonna have a walk around and see all these apartments. Pleasure. Like that's okay. Now, as David mentioned, there are three different apartments here. There's a studio, there's a one bed and a two bed. Let's go in and have a look at the one bed apartment first. Come. Now we've already seen the one bed apartment. This is the studio, let's go and check it out. Mm -hmm. 